Hello again, welcome back. So we're here with a new day and a new address. And today we are at 7639 Palm Road. We're in Lake Clark Shores. And the very interesting part about this house is it's one of about 5% of the houses in Lake Clark that is not on septic. So we're on sewer in this house, which is a big deal for Lake Clark Shores. So come on in, I'm gonna take, show you around and uh, show you a house in Lake Clark that's on sewer. So we've got a three bedroom, two bathroom home. If you wanna come on in, split floor plan. And when you first walk in the house, you will notice there are a couple of like wide open spaces. So we've got this one here and then one off of the kitchen as well. And this space was used as their family room. So kind of more of the formal area of the house. There is an area which is more of a informal family slash dining area off of the kitchen. Um, this house does have a split floor plan. So what that means is we've got two bedrooms on this side of the house, which would be either guest rooms, children's rooms, or maybe an office and a den. And then on the other side of the house is a master bedroom. So you're not kind of on top of each other in this house, which is pretty great. Um, we have engineered hardwood floors throughout the house. Uh, the roof was put on in 2004, so it's about a 16-year-old roof, so there is some life left on the roof. It is a concrete roof. Um, the kitchen was renovated about 10 years ago, so it's newer for this age and this vintage of a house, but it's definitely not new. Um, and then we have an addition, we have two bathrooms. So over here, we're gonna start on this side of the house, which is the, the guest suites, let's call it. And on one side, we've got one bedroom overlooking Palm Road, and then we have a bathroom in the middle that will serve kind of like a Jack and Jill, although they connect through a hallway. Some things to note about Lake Clark homes are our price points are a little lower than other areas around. Um, this house is listed for $389,000 and homes are pretty similar on the street in terms of price point. Having said that, I recently sold the house across the street for 550,000. Good point to note is that in Lake Clark, if you do renovation, it will pay off. So most of these homes are, are a little dated because again, if you watched any of my other videos, you remember I said, this is a die here, buy here, die here community, meaning we love it. You don't leave Lake Clark. So when you buy, you're probably gonna spend a couple years here. Originally, I thought I'd be in Lake Clark for five years and now 19 years later, I'm still here. So the point of that is a lot of these homes do need some upgrading. So replacing windows is something a lot of people do. Um, updating kitchens and bathrooms is definitely necessary most of the time. And then when we get to the backyard, you'll see what I mean, but upgrading that as well. This little area would have been the breakfast nook for this house. Um, which is off of the backyard, and we'll get to that eventually, and it does connect to the kitchen. We have a galley kitchen here, so there are some ways to open this up. If you wanted to knock this wall down and have more of an open kitchen concept, you can. I've actually done it in this exact same floor plan before, and it works, and it makes it kind of newer and less dated. So we've got this galley-like kitchen, which opens up to the informal family area. It does have built-ins, and there's plenty of room for a television, couches, play areas. At the end of this room is where we have the entrance to the master bedroom. So the funky part is that we have what would be probably the powder room for this house off of this room, but this is definitely the designated master. And a lot of the times in the 50s when these houses were built, that's how they were designed, um, at least in this neighborhood in Lake Clark. I've seen this floor plan many times. So you do have a walk-in closet in the master, which I'll just take you. But again, you may want to do some upgrades to closets and, you know, California closets, or at least put some sort of organizational shelving in these spaces. So now I'm going to take you out to the backyard. Before we go out there, I want to note there is a very low ceiling out here. It can be bumped up. I'm only telling you this because I'm 5'9 and I'm going to hit my head on it. This right here actually is just faux. It can be popped out. Somebody put it in years ago and nobody's taken it out. It is cover from the rain, but it's a little claustrophobic out here.
So Lake Clark Shores is known for its space and its lots. And this house, buying in at 300 and let's say $89,000 list price, you still have quite a nice yard here. And if you come on back here, we're gonna turn around and I'm gonna show you the length of this yard as well as that really low roof deck that you could just pop off. And if you pop off that roof, you could either have a vaulted ceiling of some sort or an awning and at least have some covered outdoor space where you and your family don't feel so claustrophobic. But lots of green space back here, lots of opportunities to renovate, lots of opportunities to fix up the yard, but this is a great property on a fantastic street. So Palm Road is west of West Lake Drive. So we're in Lake Clark Shores, and this is on the southern part of Lake Clark Shores. So south of Forest Hill, and then you would take like, what, let's just say West Lake Drive, and this street happens to be west of the lake. With that, you're on a very quiet street. And like I said, you're one of the only streets in Lake Clark that's on city sewer. So you don't have to worry about nasty septic tanks, but you have a little bit of opportunity here to make some money if you do just a little bit of renovation. So I hope you all enjoyed this home tour in Lake Clark Shores. This is on Palm Road. And if you have any questions, please email me. I'm happy to send you over the MLS link, all photos, et cetera. Have a great day.